Let's talk 368320. You know what? We've looked at some pretty weird dojins lately. Why don't we take a step back and look at a somewhat wholesome one again. Layered Emotion, a 28-page dojin, and work from Orikuchi Hirata. The tags for this dojin seem interesting, so let's just get right into it. The first page shows us our main protagonist sitting around a school building on a PSP. He's waiting for his childhood friend to get a confession over with, but the childhood friend turns on the girl and comes back to our main character. Turns out that our childhood friend is also a girl. Our main character teases her a little, asking how many times this makes now, but she brushes it off and they talk like normal friends afterwards. But she feels bad because since the person is usually a girl, they end up crying. Not saying that's a bad thing, it's just the stereotype the author is going with here. But we get a back story and finally learn the name of our main girl. Nanami Sukahara is 50-50 with the guys, but extremely popular with the girls. Whether it be Kohai or Senpai, they always see her as cool and handsome. But she's always been like this, turning everyone down. And our main character is confused because everyone's going after her, but she's wearing spats. Nanami's just having fun, she says. Our main character can't help but think that being popular would be a pain, and being single is fun in its own way. We cut to the next day and see our main character overlooking Nanami, who's getting another confession. This time it's a guy, and a guy who girls fawn over. He can't really hear what they're saying from where he is, but what he does hear is Nanami saying to give her some time to think. This really surprises our MC. Surprised him enough to the point where he's literally going to her house without telling her beforehand. And after Nanami goes to make tea, he goes to her room and starts to wonder why he came over without being invited, but drops it and finds a weird box under her bed. Inside the box was a very vulgarly designed swimsuit, and in walks Nanami with the tea, very angrily talking about how she told him not to touch anything. So our main character tries to play it off, but it's futile. Nanami takes out his knees because he wouldn't give it back, then asks why he's here. He stutters, but Nanami threatens him. So he asks how she's gonna respond to the confession she got earlier, which she didn't know he saw. But his mind has changed to something else. His mind changed to thinking about whether she bought that bikini herself which really gets her upset to the point where she almost throws a chair at him. Getting back on topic, she asks him what he'll do if she does go out with this guy. He didn't think that far, and gets the feeling she'll be mad about his answer, but he didn't understand the point in him asking, because he's just an outsider that acts like her childhood friend. Then goes back on that answer and saying he took things too seriously, and stopped thinking realistically, thinking she would just turn down that guy like she did the rest. But he doesn't want to get in the middle of her decisions, and tells her it may be best if they stopped hanging out, even even if he hates to admit it. She's baffled, saying what the hell that was. Well, not baffled, but crying. And after that long ass speech, I'm not surprised either. She tried to turn away, but gets pinned down by our MC. All she has to say is, don't say something so stupid. Or get off her is what she actually means. And she punches our MC. Because she's pissed, of course. So she insults him and kicks him out of her room for a bit. And so he's sulking in the hallway about what just happened. And he can't really help but act like that. Then we get a flashback of the two and their relationship between them. They talk like normal childhood friends. Even though if RMC was conscious of Nanami being a girl, they probably would have never become friends. And neither of them have found a significant other. But in a flashback, because we see Nanami peek out of the door with game ending intent in her eyes. But that look soon turns into an embarrassed look because she realizes that for a long time he never thought of her as a woman. So she adapted to make it easier on him. And even though it made her happy, she wants change. So she literally changed into that bikini from earlier. If she's dressed like that, then he'll have to treat her like a woman, right? To which he is sitting speechless. And once he finally speaks up, it's to say that she looks, well, pretty and eye appealing. And she blushes, which changes our MC's opinion immediately, saying she's cute and he loves her. To which she goes tsundere mode, and he admits he is an idiot. And so she straddles over him. And we see her saying that she never thought about being his girlfriend or going on a date with him, and that she did like him. But he seriously loves her, and doesn't want her to go out with anyone but him. So they do the do, and we cut to see them at school. Nanami has changed her look, and it caused a stir. But since the change was external, she only got more popular with the girls. RMC hasn't changed, so he was about to leave. But Nanami grabs onto his arm, saying, Wait up, because the two are dating now. And the dojin ends with our MC giving a monologue of him saying that he can't really compete with her. Overall, I rate this dojin a 9.5 out of 10. I like the plot, how the flashbacks tie into the plot, and the plot. I do recommend you read it for yourself because it was a good read. But that's all I got. I'll see you in the next one. Attack on Titan, Tokyo Ghoul. These hentai babes make me drool. Hasune Biku is great. She makes me masturbate. Fairy tale. <laughs>